Hello guys, this is Code and Code, and today we are going to see and start a new series which is Segmentary Volume 1. Now, why Volume 1? Because the whole segmentary uh, course section I have divided it into two parts. First is Easy, which covers easier concepts, and the second one is the Hard, that would cover difficult uh, topics like HLD and Persistent Segmentary. So in this video we are going to talk about the overview of the course that what we are going to achieve in this course. So let's see. First is introduction to segmentary. First we will see uh, what is segmentary and how it is used in many uh, different kinds of uh, query problems and how different queries can be answered in log and time using segmentary. The second we will see the implementation of segmentary. First we will look at the implementation of build and query functions only. Uh, segmentary can also be used in point and range update. We will see that in later videos. And then after implementation of build and query function we've got enough knowledge to solve problems like rmqsq uh, problem on spot which is very easy uh, which requires a basic knowledge of build and query functions of segmentary that is very basic knowledge of segmentary and then gss1 uh, this is a bit difficult problem than this one so we will solve these two problems and then we will see the point update that is how we can update the segmentary and uh, first we would look at the point update and the late uh, and later we will see the range updates so in point update section we will see how we can update segmentary in login time and Im implementation of update function or update and then after that after we have learned building tree and query querying querying over segment tree and point update after that we will solve two problems which require knowledge of point update first is help ashu taken from hacker and the second one is gss3 which is uh, a difficult version of gss1 in which in gss1 there was no point update while in gss3 there is point update after that we have learned segment tree and point update as well now comes a problem that is problem with uh, range updates so if you would update a range in the segment tree or a range in a given array normally then it, it is gonna take order and time so we'll see how we can use a special technique called lazy propagation to update the range even the range updates updating the whole range from l to r in an array in log n time this can be achieved using lazy propagation along with uh, segmentary after we have learned segmentary point update and lazy propagation that is range update efficient range update will solve the rest of the two problems which are horrible from spot and seg square ss whatever is this so basically it, it asks you to update whole, uh, a whole range which can be done by lazy propagation and ask a second query that is sum of squares of each each element of a in a given range so this is the basic structure that we would cover in this volume one course so i hope uh, this would be helpful for some guys and you guys would help me as well building this course so uh, thank you guys for watching and please subscribe so that i can i can make more videos like this so uh and regarding regarding the the time that how much time would it take to build other videos of this course i i think that 
in every one or two day, days I will update a new video on this topic like uh, the next video is going to be on the introduction of psychometry in one or two days I'll up upload it so thank you guys keep coding thank you